meet Dr. Phil Christensen. We had no idea what we were going to find. The mastermind behind an infrared device he built at ASU that's changing space science. Meet Otis. It's been chasing Bennu around the solar system for the last two years to, to finally catch up a few weeks ago. Six years ago, Dr. Christensen began creating Otis to send it up into the solar system to explore the asteroid Bennu. It's something the U.S. had never done. They launched Otis two years ago in Florida, and just three weeks ago, it finally got to the asteroid. This asteroid is extremely dark. It's one of the blackest things in the solar system. And it didn't take long for a historic discovery to be made. Otis detected clay minerals on its surface that have water locked inside. But it was going to be this window into the very early history when on the Earth life was starting. And where did the water on the Earth come from? Yep, this is where Otis is born. Dr. Christensen showed us the lab where they built Otis and now are keeping track of its findings. So this is, you know, 100 to 1,000 times cleaner than outside air. Otis's mission has only just started. For another year, it'll collect samples and send them back to Earth. They won't get it back for four years, but Dr. Christensen will never see the device he created again. It'll keep orbiting the sun for eternity. So Otis will never come back? <laughs> no, Otis doesn't get to come back. Just the sample? Just the sample. He says the discovery of water on Bennu may only just be the start to finding out how human life and Earth came to be. And even just a few weeks into the mission, it's already a mission accomplished. I, I turned to my friend and colleague and said, OK, the last six years haven't been a total waste of time. In Tempe, Brianna Whitney for Arizona's Family.